Have you ever wished you could shapeshift? I know I have. Into a thinner body. I will go slam my head into a wall. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? I'm Jillian Rogue and welcome to my channel. Apparently, there are people who can shapeshift into reptiles and we catch them in the act all the time. And that's what we'll be talking about today. The reptilian theory is basically that the Illuminati controls the world, but they are made up of reptilian shapeshifters. This theory became popularized by David Icke, and there is a lot of information on it, so bear with me here while I try to give you a basic rundown. The theory of reptilian humanoids stems from the theory of the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki was believed to be an ancient alien race made up of giant humanoid type creatures. Now the idea of reptilians is honestly very silly to me, but the one thing that makes it believable is the Anunnaki. This is because the Anunnaki were written about by Sumerians thousands of thousands of years ago. The Sumerians are Earth's oldest civilization and they wrote very extensively about the Anunnaki who are giant beings who descended down from heaven. They wrote that they came from a very elusive planet and descended down to Earth 430,000 years ago. In the past couple of decades, a lot of research has been done pointing to their existence, but it's still a very controversial subject. Zachariah Stitchin was an author who was famous for translating much of their ancient texts. Now, according to his translation, the Anunnaki came down to Earth to mine gold, which their planet needed to survive. They colonized our planet and used Homo erectus as workers to help assist them in their labor. Furthermore, according to Stitchin's translation, about 250,000 years ago, the Anunnaki merged their genes with Homo erectus to create Homo sapiens. They then manipulated the species to be able to procreate as workers grew higher in demand. Now David Icke takes the theory of the Anunnaki but says that they were actually reptilians and that they still exist today disguised as humans. He calls this a form of possession and says that the reptilian body exists outside of our frequency range so that when we look at them all we can really register is the human form. Listen to a little bit of this video of one of his lectures when he describes the possession in a little bit further detail. What we're looking at, when we look at these people, we are decoding within the five sense band of frequency uh, that we can access. And so what do we see? We see the human level of them which is vibrating within that frequency range. But if we could see just outside of it, and some people can of course, they have a much more expanded acuity visually, then they see things that actually look anything but human, overshadowing, uh, overshadowing these entities. I talk to psychics all over the world, like I said, with the 51 countries that are researching this now, and, and a number have told me how they see like reptilian ethereal entities, not, not solid, ethereal entities, and they connect into people in these lower two chakra points. Mm -hmm. And most of the time they're powerful people or people of influence, but not always, nothing like always. According to him, the European Aristocat and Royal Family Bloodlines come from Sumer and the Hybrids. These Royal and Aristocratic Bloodlines eventually branched out all over the world to politics, celebrities, religious leaders, and bankers. Their goal is to take over the world. Some people and families believed to be reptilian are the Bush administration, I would remind people that every single morning we all awaken to a safer, freer world because of the Oh, Those eyes, man. These are supposedly 100% real, as are all of what I'm showing, but the one of Barbara Bush gets me every time. Oh, man. Like, her eye, like, she's just creepy looking. <laughs> like, I don't blame people for thinking that she's a reptilian because that bitch looks creepy. <laughs> also Obama.
the Queen of England, who also looks creepy as fuck. The Rothschilds. Oh my god, dude. I think, you know what? I think Pope Francis takes the cake for like creepiest motherfucker ever. <laughs> like that dude is so creepy. Like again, same as Barbara Bush and the Queen of England, whatever the fuck. I don't blame people for thinking that he's a reptilian because he looks like the devil. <laughs> the Clintons. Trump. And even newscasters. doctor to assess certain celebrities risk factors and make her analysis for example she says it appears Brittany is suffering from a major psychological disorder and uh, that it might actually be bipolar could be that the doc then predicts how much longer they'll live <sighs> sick i know but i also know you want to hear what she has to say the doc says if these people don't get help or straighten up fast i haven't pre-read any of this Brittany won't make it to the age 30 Lindsay won't see 25 and michael jackson has no more than five years left at the other end, Angelina's gonna have a long, healthy life, and so will we'll George Bush and Nicole Richie. If you're already, if you're not already what, bipolar. What, I hear yelling in the booth. Are they yelling at me for okay. the way I read that? They or? did great. And there are so, so many more. Now this theory sounds crazy, I know, and personally, I don't necessarily believe it, but there are so many photos and videos out there that are supposedly real and that are creepy as fuck and also, David Icke has gone into some pretty elaborate detail. He even goes into such grave detail with it as to use quantum physics to explain away his theory. Now while he may be totally nuts, I think we can all agree that he must be pretty smart. And because he has so much very complicated information out there. This was only a small, small portion, just to give you guys kind of a nutshell view of what the reptilian theory is, although I'm sure most people already know. For me though, the most believable and therefore the most fascinating part is by far the Anunnaki. In the same text that the Sumerians described the Anunnaki, they also described the whole solar system, including all of the planets and everything in detail that they could have never even known. They even described the 10th furthest out planet, a planet that we didn't even know existed until 2005. So like, how did they know? That pretty much seals the deal for the Anunnaki on me. So if you want to see a whole video on the Anunnaki and evidence pointing to their existence, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to do it. So what do you guys think? Did the Anunnaki exist? Are there reptilians? Are there reptilian shapeshifters plotting to take over the world? You decide. <laughs> also, which person that I listed do you think is most likely to be a reptilian shapeshifter? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, all my little poop kings and queens, I will see you later.